Hello everyone, uh, this is Brother Randy, and uh, I wanted to read you a scripture uh, from my daily Bible reading from uh, Matthew chapter 10, and uh, verses uh, 28 through 30, where Jesus said, And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin? And not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Um, Jesus here tells us that God is sovereign over all things. Uh, look, he says, don't fear. Don't fear uh, him who's able to, uh, you know, just to kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. You know, uh, don't fear man. Man's power, man's strength, he's limited. Now, a lot of times man thinks he's got the world under his control, that he's in control. And people think this today. But the Bible is clear that God is sovereign in all things. He has all things under control. Remember that when it was a uh, has been several years ago, Twyla Paris had a song, you know, God is in control. I I once heard about the death of uh well no, someone called me up and it was a fellow preacher told me about the death of someone and uh, it was a tragic Death, and I and I just made the remark. You know, you never know when the Lord's going to call you. And he thought it was funny. He thought, well, the Lord didn't have nothing to do with that. Well, my friends, I hope the Lord did. You know, we like to blame, you know, you know, the good things on God, and the bad things are always on the devil. But let's remember, nothing is out of God's control. And some people don't like to hear this that God has all things under control. But let me ask you, would you rather be in a car where there's no, and you're riding in the back seat and it's going 70 miles or 80 miles per hour or whatever down the highway and there's nobody in front driving? Or do you want to be in a car with somebody who's driving the car? Well, God is driving history. God has all things under his control. This is what Jesus says. I mean, this is not just my statements. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, that not one sparrow falls to the ground apart from your Father's will. That's how in control God is in the universe. The very hairs of your head are all numbered. Uh, God is sovereign. Uh, one of the... Uh, uh, Great Baptist Confessions of Faith, the 1689 London Baptist Confession, and also uh, for uh, my Presbyterian and Reform uh, uh, brothers and sisters, it, this is also in the Westminster Confession, of which uh, the uh, se uh, the Second London borrowed from the Westminster. But it states, "God the Creator." That, no, God, the good creator of all things in his infinite power and wisdom doth uphold, direct, dispose, and govern all creatures and things from the greatest even to the least by his most wise and holy providence to the end for which they were created according to his infallible foreknowledge and, his, and the free and immutable counsel of his own will to the praise of of the glory of his wisdom, power, justice, infinite goodness, and mercy. In other words, God is in control of all things that happen. Uh, the world is not spinning out of control. Uh, now you might be saying, if all things are under God's control, then what's the purpose of prayer? Because I once was asked that uh, by a man uh, who was an open theist, who was uh, uh, curious, you know, says you, you Calvinist uh, hold that you know, God's got everything under control, you know. Uh, well, 
And you know, what's the purpose of prayer? Well, uh, because it's this is the reason. Because God uses our prayers to accomplish His will. You see, God just doesn't just do things in a vacuum. He uses our prayers to accomplish His will here on earth and what He determines to happen. Now let me say this. I can't explain all this and no theologian can. Uh, but wouldn't you... I mean... If God doesn't have all things under control like some people want to say, I mean, isn't that kind of frightening? I mean, I rather, I like how Jesus states it. You know, God has it under control. Not a sparrow even falls without the, the Lord's knowledge of it. Uh, 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 or no, no, excuse me, without the Father's will. So, we can't always understand why things happen. But I tell you, I am glad that when I pray that I have a God who uses the, my prayers and your prayers that we pray in faith for His will. And we may not always understand it, but praise God, He is in control. Uh, prayer request uh, I've already mentioned in a, on my board here at uh, YouTube on my channel that uh, Beverly Cowart passed away and remember the family this was a, uh, my first cousin and her funeral is this afternoon remember the family in your prayers and also I have a request and I don't I'm not going to name the name because I'm not sure I have permission to name the name, but I will just say that I did have a request uh, uh, from a lady that we pray for her three children for their salvation, that the Lord will open their heart for them to be saved, and uh, and the Lord knows their name. And uh, if you're watching this and you want me to get be more pacific uh, you can uh, just uh, email me but uh, I'm talking to the one who gave me the request but uh, do pray for the salvation of these uh, children and uh, and, and uh, let's pray for all the Lord's churches today as they uh, have services uh, today at my church we're having the Lord's Supper and it's a a very re it's a rededication uh, service always when we have the Lord's Supper. Also, let continue to remember Miss Aja Bibi, who's in prison in Pakistan facing the, the death penalty. And uh, let's pray for her relief and her protection. And also, let's pray for Iran. I keep hearing very bad things about the persecution of Christians in Iran. So I uh, remember all these prayer requests. Uh, if you have prayer requests, send them to me, and I will try to mention them uh, here, either here on Sunday or Wednesday generally. If it's an emergency, I can mention it at any of my videos that I do during the week. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon us sinners. And Lord, we lift up these requests unto you today, Lord, knowing that you have all things under your control. And we do, Lord, pray uh, to give comfort to those, to the Cowart family today who've lost a loved one, and Lord, for all who have lost loved ones, Lord, to give your comfort and your compassion. And Lord, God, for these three children lord who are who i lift them up to you lord asking you lord to open their hearts to give them faith and repentance lord that the, and, and enable them lord to believe upon jesus as their only lord and savior and turning to him 
for their salvation. Oh, Lord, convict them even now. And, uh, Lord God, I ask you to be with all your churches today uh, as they meet, as we meet, Lord, to give honor and glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And, Lord, I can, we continue to lift up Miss Aja Bibi, praying for her release from uh, prison and also be with her family and give them protection. And be with your church, churches in Iran. Protect our brothers and sisters there. And Lord, be with, be with us, Lord, today. All your, all your children as we uh, give you honor and glory on this Lord's day. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord God and Savior, I pray. Amen. God bless you all.